Welcome to Drive the Lightning, the positively charged in EV, EV channel. You can see we are at an electric vehicle charger in beautiful Muskegon, Michigan. We just left Lake Michigan. You probably would have preferred that view, truth yeah, be told. We probably should have done that. But you get this view. But we didn't. We have time now. Yeah. We want to talk about Aptera, the solar powered electric car of the future, and what is going on this week. Sarah, what's the big news this week from Aptera? I forgot the name of it. Open Pilot. Thing. Open Pilot. Open Pilot. So if you have not experienced like Tesla self-driving or any other cars like the Chevy Bolt that has like lane assist and partial self-driving, it's quite an experience. Having experienced it myself in a Tesla where uh, Rick, a friend of ours, put in his address where we were going and then he took his hands off the wheel and his feet off the pedals and the Tesla drove you to that place. It was really weird uh, and a little uncomfortable, <laughs> but very accurate. Well, I mean, I was behind you. I followed you. Seemed fine. Yeah, interesting <laughs> stuff. But that's not what Open Pilot will do, at least not right now. This is more of a system to allow you to take your hands off the steering wheel, and it'll stay in the lane you're in. You know, it's not going to drive you from this address to that address. Right. But it is a proven system. It gets high marks from Steve Fombro. He's been using it for six months in his current vehicle. And he says it blew him away. You know, he's really happy with what it's going to do to Aptera customers. We want to know what your view is. At the end of this channel, we have a hot button question. At the end of this, at the end of this video, right. we have a hot button question. We'll get to that in a minute. But about Open uh, Open Pilot. Another cool thing about Open Pilot is it's going to just get better, Sarah. You're going to right. It's going to be installed, but then what happens? You know, and get up, up gets updated as improvements come along. Maybe eventually it will be completely self driving. Yeah, and all the drivers they've had for millions of miles now driving with this, all that data goes into that system mm -hmm. and it continues to learn and grow itself mm -hmm. and what it knows and what street markers look like and what stop signs look like. So it's kind of exciting to be in a, in a that they're using a system that's just going to keep growing from here. And uh, yeah, we get to be a part of that. You know, we can take our hands off the wheel and let that data go back to open pilot and improve the system we're using. Can't wait to see what people think of this. I'm happy. Me personally, I'm not. I'm not excited about taking my hands off the steering wheel if I'm driving of any vehicle. But I love the idea that I have a system that's going to help keep me alert. It's going to let me know if somebody is coming too close to me, or if I'm getting too close to someone else, or to a barrier of some kind. So any kind of assistance that's going to make my driving experience safer for me and those around me, I'm all for that. Yeah, I love the video Chris M made in the beta when they hooked it up to the Aptera beta. And he kind of gives an idea of how it tracks your head movements. It can tell if you're paying attention or not. Yep. So it's, it's a neat device. I am not excited about full self-driving like what I experienced in the Tesla uh, Model 3 that, that Rick owns because mm -hmm. I never want to not drive. I enjoy driving. I yeah. don't know. You know, I, th I think a lot of us enjoy driving. Yeah, the, it's an experience. Yeah. It's, I think that's part of the fascination that we have with cars is because we like to drive but i will say this i would really like if open pilot would work with aptera so that they would put like a little port somewhere in front of the driver where if open pilot notices that you're not paying attention it would just fire a nerf ball at your face <laughs> and then that would wake you up right away if you were not paying attention good enough a nerf dart that's, yeah, so all of you engineers, so get to work on that. <laughs> or you engineers that watch this, you know, Bruce and, and Dean and some of you other guys, you know how to do that yes, stuff. Yeah, this, this makes make, the most sense make to me. A Nerf dart that will shoot Sarah in the forehead if, if Open, Open Pilot, Pilot says she's not paying attention. And I'm not paying attention to the road. Yeah. But yes. great video from Tara, <laughs> great video from Chris M. Now, Chris M used to work for that company that built it. That's what brought him. From the East Coast to, say to the West Coast. Hey, I'm not under contract with anybody. I can say whatever I want to say. I thought that was told us in And, and he's had this in his <laughs> Honda Civic. Here's an interesting story about Chris M. He bought the system when he lived over in Maine, put it in his car, made some YouTube videos about it, then got a call and a job offer. You know, from so that's what moved him all the way to California, was mm -hmm. this same company that builds open pilot systems. So, mm -hmm. you know, Chris M. was going to demonstrate it for us, remember, but his fiance had his car. Yeah. In September. Yeah, he was going to show it to us, but his I was car so glad there. he did because he scared the death <laughs> out of me just driving the Aptera Alpha. <laughs> what was he going to do to us with, with this open pilot thing? He was just going to try to dare us to to not pass out or something. But So that's a cool story. Um, so that that's the news this week. Let us know if you're excited. Now, here's the hot button question. This is going to probably dun, dun, dun. spark some... <laughs> 
uh, we might get, you know, this is the positively charged EV channel. So when we open a conversation like this, it's not to be negative, but we really want to know how the community feels about things as they stand. Because we feel that there can be a wide array of varying opinions respectfully expressed. And that's what Ooh, we do here. Wow, wide variety of opinions respectfully, respectfully expressed. That is cool. You we should have make room a, for that yeah, here. That's neat. Yeah. So before I give you that question, thank you to the permanent members of the channel. We no longer have memberships, but when we did, you kept us going, and we thank you. Uh, the Mug Club keeps growing all over the United States, all over Canada. You mugs buy mugs, so these mugs can get back to California for some more coverage. Yeah, thanks, you mugs. You mugs. <laughs> and we got some coffee. Bob Newchow, ever faithful, keeps thank us, you. keeps thank Sarah you, you. fully caffeinated. And BV Bows, and if I'm saying your name wrong, I am so sorry, but you were so generous this week. Bows, maybe? Bows, yeah, maybe. Bows? You were so generous this week, bought us 10 cups of coffee, which really helps. You know, we don't make money on YouTube. This is something we do on the side. We make a tiny We make a little bit. You can see, YouTube. you know, what we made in the summer was the advertisers willing to pay more for YouTube right. than they do now and i assume that'll come back around but like last month we made like a couple of dollars yeah and that's okay, okay but we appreciate okay. that a couple of dollars yeah thank you but we're in it to spend some time promoting evs and of course solar powered electric aptera being our current favorite yes uh, but here's the hot button question okay here it is right now when i log into sarah and i's uh launch edition aptera it shows us a delivery date of sometime in 2024 that's fine mm -hmm. but it used to say 2023 to 2024 2022 to 2023, 2021. So we've been in this for a minute. And that number keeps moving, and we know why. Uh, they're waiting for that $50 million to come along that it's going to take to get into production. And that $50 million, they say, has to come in one lump sum. Remember, Chris M., we asked mm -hmm. him. Aptera really only needs $50 million left all at once to get to production. $50 million, we can put cars in the street. That's an exactly. accurate statement? Okay. That's fully, yeah, totally accurate. He's not talking about the investments that are just slowly coming in. Yeah, which, I, which I'm sure are helping, but they are looking for a, a big one-time investment. Yeah, they need a one-time $50 million. As far as we know, that hasn't come yet. And that doesn't count the California uh, grant. grant. It doesn't mm -hmm. count the grant. It doesn't count the funds that are coming in through Republic, unless someone dropped $50 million. Well, I guess and, that would probably work. And the launch edition, the uh, you know the accelerator program, that's designed to go toward that to get it moving. But when here's the question: When do you really expect to receive your Aptera in your driveway? Let us know in the comments. We'll aggregate that data and we'll do another video and just kind of see what the general mood is of the Aptera community. Yeah, uh, we're I'm just not, curious. We're not going to tell you what ours is, but I can tell you this: It's not 2024. <laughs> Because we are not going to be able to afford to get in the accelerator program, so there's going to be thousand, a couple thousand that are going to come before us when they finally start production. Yeah, but don't forget, 2024 is a whole year, so it could be September or October of 2024. You don't know. Yeah, that we, could happen. We will not be getting ours in 2024. <laughs> I would be very surprised, but I will review yours. A couple of you know that I and Sarah intend to meet you when you pick yours up, whether yes. you invite us or not. <laughs> If I find the date you're going, I'm going to be there with my camera and my mouth, and we're going to film your picking up your Aptera. Uh, if that's something, if so, more of you want that, let us know in the comments if you want us there. If you don't want us there, too bad for you. If you want us there, even better. It could even be fun. Yeah, we could have, we could have a good time. Yeah, we might have a good time. So let us know in the comments, when do you really think you're going to get your Aptera? And do you want us to be there when you do? Yeah. <laughs> That's implied we're going to be there. We might just, we might just camp. Well, it would be nice to know Terra. whether you're thumbs up or thumbs down on that. I mean, not that it's going to change the it's outcome. It's not going to matter what we do. But it would be nice to know what kind of reception we should expect when we We should just there. go there, get like a long-term <laughs> Airbnb, or go stay with Chris M and his wife and just hang out in their apartment and just yeah, be there every that. morning uh -huh. when people come to pick up their... Sure. They're Aptera. Maybe we can lease like a, a small office at the Aptera headquarters and we can put a car in Drive the lightning there, offices. Yeah. Drive the lightning offices. With the cats. And then we're just the, sleep in there. With the, yeah, and we could film everybody's pickup. Yeah, that's not bad. Film's a funny word because we don't really film anything, but you know, we it's can record it. It's antiquated. It's antiquated. Uh-huh. So that's it again. But so are we. Yeah, so are we antiquated. <laughs> Thanks for the coffee. Thanks for our past members. We appreciate you. Thanks for the Mug Club. Thanks for answering this question and the robust conversation that will surely follow, or as Sarah says, differing opinions. We have a 
We have room for a wide variety, wide variety of, differing, of differing opinions. opinions. Respectfully, respectfully expressed. expressed. That's what we look forward to. On, on the, the Positively the Charged, Charged YouTube, YouTube channel. YouTube, YouTube <laughs> channel slash podcast conversation at Car Chargers. Where we get a charge out of driving. Yeah, or where we get <laughs> charging so we can get driving is what we're actually doing now. All right, thanks. Thanks. <laughs>